welcome to Taking Care of Your Business. I'm Ron Romano and today we're going to talk about the presidential marketing campaign. Now, if you've just crawled out from under a rock and haven't been following the presidential race, well, you missed a glorious opportunity to watch a full-fledged, leaving no stone unturned marketing campaign and the lessons you can learn from it. I mean, never before in history has there been such massive action taken on so many different fronts. Yes, traditional election methods were used, but was that going to be enough for the eventual winner? I mean, take a look. There were skits on Saturday Night Live that were replayed almost nightly on national and local TV news stations, interviews on late night talk shows. Monday Night Football, the halftime show, featured both candidates being interviewed, and it wasn't for an analysis of the first half. Obama's half-hour infomercial, McCain's challenge to debate at town hall meetings, and how the Internet was used to campaign online build a new database of Internet-savvy voters, and then using those email addresses to stay in touch and build a relationship with those potential clients. Oops, did I say clients? I meant supporters. Sounds an awful lot like email broadcasting to me. That's just some of the obvious stuff. There was massive action taken on other fronts as well. Take a look at Obama's website. If you go to Obama.com, the only thing you can do is enter your name, zip code, and email address. Man, isn't that just like a squeeze page? Capture your prospect's information before you give them anything? From there, you can either make a donation or go to the main page where he's selling you stuff. There's a shopping cart on this site. Here's a presidential candidate, now president-elect, and he's running a retail operation? Well, next, look at where it says Obama Everywhere. He's in Facebook, YouTube, MySpace, Flickr, Dig, Twitter, Glee, Eons, Faithbase, Black Planet, and more. How about you? Are you everywhere marketing yourself? Well, here's my point. The best marketer won. What are you doing in the face of the battle you're waging right now in today's economic reality to come out on top? Are you looking for, and I mean actively searching to find new ways to build a database of new prospects that you can stay in touch with? Keep in touch with your clients. Find new distribution channels for your products and services. Reposition or reinvent your current business model to attract affluent buyers. Adding new products that your customers want. Looking for new and better ways to market what you got. Well, you're probably saying to yourself, Yeah, I could do that if I had the same budget as Obama. And I'd have to agree with you on that point. But... There are zero-dollar marketing solutions that you can implement. There are a ton of things that you can do that are cost-effective and can be done on a shoestring budget and can be done immediately. If, and if you want to invest the time and effort to do them. Here's just a few. First, the phone and email are free. Start by calling all your existing clients and let them know you're having a customer appreciation draw for a free whatever. You fill in the blank. Get all their contact information, including their email address, because that's how the winner is going to be notified. And after you've announced the winner, let every one of your customers know that they're all winners and give them a special in-store offer. Now you've got their email address. Start sending those emails with helpful information and the occasional offer or special. Second, know your numbers. If you want to increase sales, why not just increase the average amount your customers spend? That means you have to know how much the average sale is. Now, look at the different ways to increase or add on or bundle in more value to increase that number. Have you ever ordered something from an infomercial? If you haven't, 
try it and see how many upsells you're offered. Order something from the internet and the good marketers upsell like crazy. Even McDonald's offers you an upsell. So, why aren't you doing the same? Third, what is your website doing? Your website is supposed to make you money. You do that by capturing the visitors' email addresses and then emailing those prospects information that solves their problem and gives them what they need, want, or desire. So what offer do you have on your website that is compelling enough that your visitors will give you their email addresses? There are plenty of models to choose from on the internet or just go to www.marketing and salesexpert.com for more ideas. The bottom line is that you have to be open to new ideas, new ways of doing things, and have systems in place that can measure and track the results of what you implement. The ones who survive will be the ones who are most adaptive to change. Remember, implement for success. I'm Ron Romano.